welcome back everybody so we've made a jump we're at Solaris now um, which is nice it's like just like basically like a water world which is cool so we'll be nice and cool when we're fighting but let's have a look here uh, we're gonna go to the uh, mech bay real quick I made some minor changes to the mechs um, now the Jenner stayed the same I didn't touch anything on this guy the Locust 3V um, ended up getting uh, what do we get? Oh yeah, the R the AR-12 sheath beacon. Uh, let's have a quick look here. So what I did is I replaced the um, I replaced the Beagle probe um, and the sensors here with the AR-12 sheath beacon. Now this is pretty much giving us the exact same as we had. It's a little better I think than those two put together, but it does have a UAV, which we've never used really in the past. But I think now on this mech, I think it's the perfect place to have it. So we're going to try using this more often. Uh, and we added three jump jets for maneuverability here too, because as we move up um, against uh, heavier opponents with you know, not having another mech right now, the Locust is pretty much a sitting target. So um, having that maneuverability, I think it's really going to help. Now I did toy around with putting the double heat sink kit in here and removing these and the flamer and putting a second X-Pulse in. Um, but I used the X-Pulse elsewhere, and I'll show you that in a second. But this is kind of how it is right now. If we can pick up another medium X-Pulse, um, we do have a medium pulse laser we could put in here, but I think I want to leave this as it is, um, just for maneuverability's sake. But if we can pick up another medium X-Pulse, it would definitely uh, replace the Flamer and a couple of jump jets. So that's the option with this guy. Now, uh, the Trebuchet. Trebuchet was the one that ended up getting the Radical Prototype Double Heat Sink Kit. Uh, because it was a major upgrade for this guy. So right now our heat efficiency is actually pretty good. Uh, heat sinking 64, Alpha Strike 75. 75 is not so bad because the risks will jam. One of them will jam at a certain point and then we'll be pretty much flush. But I replaced two of the medium lasers, one with a medium X-Pulse and one with the medium heavy laser clan. Now it does have a minus one accuracy penalty but it does hit for 40 damage with 30 heat. Um, then we added the comm suite in here and the sensor recon that we took off the Locust uh, just to give it a little bit better um, uh, sensor distance. And we also add, were able to add a ton of regular LRM ammo. So now we can just launch barrages without having to waste Hydra ammo. Um, so we'll be able to fire every turn and not have to worry about it. I also added four jump jets uh, as well. We were able to pull out like five heat sinks out of this, which is why we got all the extra weight. Uh, which was great. Um, I swapped out. I think we had regular Pharaoh in here. I swapped it out for Clan Pharaoh. Oh no, actually, this had this actually already had Clan Pharaoh in it. Um, but yeah, we saved a lot of weight because of the Radical Prototype Double Heat Sink Kit. We got actual, actual. Actually, we have one extra Prototype Double Heat Sink too, which is great. Uh, so now we have some good maneuverability and good uh, close-in damage with this mech as well. Because uh, you know it's, it wasn't hitting that hard when. Uh, when the um, MMLs were uh, misfired so and then the Talos now I'm not a hundred percent sure this is gonna work out uh, we did go the way I said we were gonna do we put the large X pulse in here I had to pull out the um, the ferro fibers that we had I dropped the light engine in you know it only cost six hundred thousand to put in which wasn't too bad uh, but I dropped that in uh, I dropped the clan cockpit in here as well to give us some bonus bonus gunnery um, and a, the extra double heat sink that we had and I dropped a large X pulse in here now you know the heat sinking is roughly the same it's like one more than it was before so before we had an 87 71 heat sinking now it's 88 71 so you know I don't know if this X pulse is going to work out we hit the single shot but we're gonna test it and see uh, I'm interested to find out with uh, but only having really two weapons I'm not really 100% sure that that's really the way we should, we, we should go with that uh, in the barracks, our pilots. Um, so we did. We were able to level up four of our pilots. So our fire is on. I went with tactics. Uh, I want to get that called shot bonus up with that um, me, that heavy X X pulse. I want to be able to uh, pull legs and stuff like that. So that's why we pranked his tactics up. Arc light definitely went with gunnery. Uh, minus one recoil penalty. That's probably going to help out with the uh, the um, MMLs. Uh, GV and Witness both went into piloting because it gave us plus one uh, max evasion. The more evasion they can get, the better off I think they're going to be. All right, so let's have a look here at the command center. Oh, also too, if you hear some clunking going on in the background, it's just the doorway to the uh, the attic. I've got the windows open. It's just banging back and forth, so that's all it is. 
apologize for that. But we want to go into here now. We want to do. Uh, I think we're going to do test drive today. Now this is. Um, we've captured a Comstar Nightstar, uh, so they're going to test it out. The planetary government, but they're going to test it out against Clan Burrock. So hopefully we can pick up some good gear here. Now one and a half urban. Not sure what we're going to expect here, but we're going to try this out and see what we can do here. Salvage is good. Payment's good. So why not? One and a half skulls can't go wrong, right? Yeah, no, maybe. All right, so we're going to pull Witness out of the Locust. We're going to give him the Talos, I think. Um, and we're going to run this way. So let's deploy and get it done. Command All right, here we go. So a crash coming down here. So this is a restart. Um, we didn't even get here. We had the spinny ball forever. All right, so... That's where we're escaping to. We engage the enemy, escape to here. Now, we could do two things. It's one and a half skull though. Yeah. How really worried am I about this? So we've got a Centurion, almost three quarters strength. Most likely he'll turn his back to the enemy and get himself killed. Uh, light carrier. Well, Thunderbolt 5s, okay. Striker, SRM and LRM. Who else do we have? We should have one more here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Uh, Stiletto, two medium X pulses and an MML5. It's a pretty good loadout. LK ammo. LRM 10 light Gauss rifle. All right. Um, well, I think what we want to do is move up into here. We've got some open area for fighting, some places for cover. So we're going to move up that way. Got it. No Secure this position first. Now, do we have sight on the enemy at all? Nothing. Let's make it. Yeah, okay. Our, we've got standard ammo. I'm liking the idea of having the standard ammo in there as well. All right, let's get you up here. Okay. At least you're moving up. What can I do for you? Kind of. Wait, what? Oh, right. You don't. You're. You're not in the. Uh, yeah. I was thinking. Oh, we get a chance to use the UAV, but you're not in the. Um, you're not in the. Uh, I was going to call it a dagger, the locust. All right. Let's see what this thing's got going on here. Two Gauss rifles, two medium X pulses, and an ER small. What's our weight? 95 ton assault mech. What kind of armor, 1578. That ain't bad. Um, double heat sink. Just a regular engine. Okay, don't have to worry about getting side torsoed. Let's just move up. Just move up. All right. Um, you're our scout, but let's not to go too far forward. Let's get into here. All right, we got some blips. Okay, what do we got here? Scorpion, Svantovit, Arctic Cheetah, Falcon, and a Ripper. Yeah, five points, we'll take it. Yep. That is, if it did hit the Ripper, I don't know. Roger. I think this is going to be a Ripper attack as well. 16 on the Scorpion. If we can kill the Ripper, that would be nice. 0.9, eh? Why is it so bad? Um, side shot in the Scorpion. Eight points, sure. Yeah, you run away. That MML5 going from extreme range. 
It's really going to help out. It's an Arctic cheetah. It's not an Arctic cheetah, it's an Arctic cheetah. Missed links, okay. Usually there should be at least three lances to, to deal to deal with with this. On you, Get that Talos down here, please. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Same vehicle. Got it. Now this guy's got a better chance to hit because he's got the extreme range uh, sensors. Sniper sensors or whatever they're called. Alright. I think we're going to push the Night Star up this way. It's probably the best thing to do. Is that their chopper trying to figure out what to do? No? Oh, we got another Lance. That's right. Okay, here they come. Okay, this should be interesting. All right, he's moving in. Get that arm 10. Meh. Meh. So I think there's going to be, once we clear these two, there should be another lance on our, as we're trying to get out of here, there should be another lance that arrives, I think. We'll just stay and clear everybody, I think. Okay, who are you going to shoot at? Oh, thermal barbaric. Thermal barbaric, thermal barbaric explosion. All right, what do we got down here? Thorn, 20 ton. Wow, nice chance to hit. Why it's so bad? Oh, because he's... I don't know, maybe this guy didn't move back here. Multi-target. Multi-target. Oh. Oh, I'm liking this mech so far. Liking this mech so far. Maybe I'll just send him, him in by himself. Although I didn't check out how much gauze ammo we have. Should have probably done that, huh? Should have at least eight rounds per uh, eight rounds per, shouldn't we? Double gauss twenty. Double gauss. Well, you got lots of ammo. Got twenty turns of firing, man. Gonna need a lot more than that. All right, let's decide what we're doing here. Ready for order. I think what we do is we reserve. I want to see where these five guys go. They may come down this way to engage the main mech here. If we just give them a clear route, then we can push their side. Give it a bit of flank attack. If they do decide to come this way, we'll deal with them. The uh, trebuchet is a real heavy hitter now, with that X pulse and the um, that clan um, heavy medium laser. That's a 40 hit. The X pulse hits for 45, then the medium laser for 20. Then we still have all our uh, MMLs. So even if our both of our MMLs go down, rather than running the three medium lasers, we got two nice heavy hitting weapons we can get in close with. The one thing I do want to do though is try and add some more armor to this guy. He's not really, like he's not as heavy, like there's more armor on the Talos than there is on the uh, the trebuchet. So I mean I guess I could pull off the jump jets and throw up armor. That's a possibility. Like just pull off two of the jump jets and throw a ton of armor on it or something. 
Okay, enemy turn. What are they doing here? All right. Stiletto. the back armor I like on this thing really good this guy's almost got he does have max armor I think it's kind of nice just wondering because if I push out and move up this way these guys attack me from behind I got tons of armor so I don't have to worry too much about them um, See what we got here. Forty six thirty with the tag barrage and the cheetah. The ripper I can't use the barrage on, but those are pretty good chances to hit, and that would most likely be a kill. Um, you know what? Let's just see. Let's do this. I'm going to try what a, see what a barrage does here. Okay, there goes the Ripper. Did we get... Did we get... Looks like we got one of the other ones, too. I think we did. We got one of the support lance and we got one of the main lance. So that chopper may have been the support lance, but we killed somebody here. That other vehicle, I think. What do you need? Let's do the same thing. Let's just do the same thing. Um, let's go in here. Roger. Okay, we got the vehicle. Don't think we got the mech, though. No, mech's still good. Oh! <laughs> sorry. It just looks so bad for that guy. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. It's a multi-target kind of day. Engaging multiple targets. See ya. Oof. Sorry about that, guys. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, I apologize to anyone in that building. I don't know why I started to apologize now, but whatever. Oh, we got somebody back here. What's this guy? Falcon. Oh, right, that was that Falcon that was back there. Miss Lynx. This guy's a little hot. We'll move out the Jenner and burn him, I think. I'm also interested to see how much uh, evasion we can get. Let's do this. I am the wind. Four, okay. Hit this guy. Welcome to my alpha guy. All right, twelve heat. We'll take it. Oh, put him over. Cool. That guy's running. So they've got two, five left. So it's three here and these two guys. Okay. A little bit ridiculous putting a nine. I mean, uh, the nine ten mech probably could have fought all these guys by himself. But those two barrages that we had really helped out. Guys, all yours, buddy. Burn them.
Okay, do that. Now I am wondering where the reinforcements are going to arrive from. I still remember that one mission we did. I can't remember what mech it was, but the <laughs> the reinforcements arrived and we were just camped at the spot. They just like showed up right in the middle of us and we wiped off. I think it was all four, all, close to all four of them out in one shot. It wasn't in this series, it was in um, Infiltration. Yeah, the other guy ran, eh? Okay, this is a multi against you. And let's drop it on... This is a back shot. So let's go with the back shot. It's low percentage chance, but we'll take it. Engaging multiple enemies. Good damage. Yeah, warm those guys up. If they're going to run, that's what happens. Okay, so we should be able to finish these two up, hopefully this turn. And we might get these two. Well, we'll get this guy anyway. As long as we don't miss with that large X-Pulse. Okay, it's multi. Let's do this. Oh, 78 damage. Okay, a couple of hits, not bad. This is a multi again. You and you. A, B, perfect. Wow, he's like immune to like Gauss rifle shots. And that guy's a magnet for laser hits. Okay, keep pushing them. See what they do. You have no problem hitting them. So we do have a clan LRM-10. Trying to figure a way to work that into the Jenner. If we can get another light engine, drop it in the Jenner, that will work great, I think. How oh, can you can you um It's only gonna be Well, let's just do it. Okay, we're going to Hydra this guy again. Where'd the other guy go? Copy that. Yeah, nothing really, but... He's nice and toasty, that's all that matters. Oh, there's the mislinks. Trying to take that building down on me. Get right up this guy's backside. Yep. Okay, put him over. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where'd that vehicle go? Did he retreat? Meh. All right. Good to go. Let's get up here. Sprinting. There he is. Ten percent. Got okay, damage on the other side though. So. Right? No. It's on this. Right? Yeah. It's on our side. 22 on this guy though. I think we can try for a kill on this guy maybe. I don't think we'll get it, but let's just give it a pot shot and see. Okay, 
Okay, looks like it was a crit hit. Beautiful. Come on, finish him up. Another hit. Sounded like he hit something critically. Uh, where are we here? What am I doing? Oh, here we go. Just push this way. That guy ran. Not much I can do. I'm not going to chase him. There's no point. We got our faster mechs to do that. Oh, he's coming back now, that little bastard. Come on, finish him up. There you go. Alright, two mechs left and the main force is down. Let's hammer this guy out for some good damage. Firing. Firing. Gonna back it up. Roger. Yeah, alright. We'll take it. He's unsettled. It's fine. What's this guy gonna do? Yeah, we got five chevrons of evasion now. Perfect. So on a full run, we get five chevrons. This falcon lost all his heat. What's his back like? Can't tell. Can you tell? This guy's got no back armor. Um... I don't know, we have to hit him with just about everything. Let's try it. Alright, a couple hits. I'm gonna move you, uh... here. Can I get a witness? There we go. Going to hang on to those rocket packs. I don't know what's going to drop down. Something else will drop, I know. So, let's hang on to them. We don't need to shred this guy with the rocket packs. Switch this to dead fire, though. And we're going to hammer this guy. Now, uh, yeah, let's just do this. Ooh. Head hit, though. He's stressing out. Falcon's still running. Alright, you won't be able to do anything, but let's just keep going this way. Full Direct fire mech being in a city is not the best thing. I mean, if you're holding a street corner, sure, but... Eh. Meh. Guy's yours, man. It's all yours. Only three chevrons that time. Uh, let's just bake him with this. Let's make sure we hit. Okay. You did. It's a little toasty now. Okay, you get this guy here. And we'll go this route and fire. Left Got leg down. destroyed, going down. Now the question is, do we take the back attack or do we take... Commander? Shit, that's a kill. Let's wait. Uh, we're going to attack this guy. 
Now dead fire is in range. A little better with standard ammo. Let's fire this on this guy. Yeah, he ain't doing good. He ain't doing good. Move into here. Really interested to see where the next lance is going to drop in. Hopefully it's like right on top of this guy. Get some action. Alright, what are you guys doing? Stand besides standing up and running away. This guy's in a bad position. This guy can't do much. This guy, if he gets behind me, he can do a little damage and he's not doing anything. So somebody mentioned once I against guy, I gotta apologize. I'm terrible with names. But um somebody mentioned that um um I think it was okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess I think it was Robert Hill mentioned that the 1.91 sorry 191 has dropped uh, of rogue tech it's still in beta they're still doing fixes and stuff I went and had a look and yes in fact that's the case so it's getting pretty close to being released which is awesome but like I said I want to make sure it's relatively stable first before we do it because I'm not the kind of guy that that will um, update um, while I'm in the middle of a series just because I don't want to um, have something go wrong and it screws the whole series up and stuff, right? Do that. Get out the way. I'm coming a big laser. Big laser coming down on this guy. Arc light. This guy's all yours. Shred him. You got that right. Now, how far can I jump? It's actually a pretty good jump. The four jump jets for a 50 tonner? I mean, it's a, it's about the same distance as the move, which is pretty cool. Understood. Good to go. Just move down here. Use the same stuff on them. Gonna say, well, doesn't really matter. Just use dead fire. Got it. Screw it, dead fire. That's the last of them. All primary targets down. All right. Evac at any time. Now I think it may only let. I think once somebody goes out, we get reinforcements. Now, I wonder if these guys are actually heading for the evac. Looks like they might be. Nope. Here they come. Not where I expected them to be. Let's set up for this fight. Brace here. Wow. Sorry, guys. I just had a major uh, pressure drop in my ear. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, where the pressure drops and all of a sudden your ears just go hard and ring. Just got that in my uh, my right ear. Doesn't happen all, very often to me, but it does happen. Now it's balancing out. There we go. It's fine now. Uh, let's go right here, in the middle of the road. I would have thought they would have landed more closer to our uh, extraction point, but I'll take that. It's not bad. We're we're not that out of position for them. Elysian markings, eh? We'll make sure they're eliminated. Don't worry. Cantaru, what was that guy? A Clint? 
and a brigand. I'm trying to remember what parts we have. I had to sell them. I had to sell a couple of parts uh, on the way here because we ran out of cash just as we were arriving at the jump point in the uh, and the um, our um, financial report was up. Yeah, this looks like a crusader, like a cruiser tank, a British cruiser tank from World War II. Um, but yeah, I had to sell a couple parts. I was like, a, I think, what did I sell now? A couple of locust parts. Um, it was locust. Understood. Moving fast. Like two, an old locust, a pirate locust. What else did I sell? Oh, the old, um, the old, uh, what was it called now? Um, blackjack part. Let's multi-target this. We only had one of them. But I only sold like three or four parts. It wasn't very many. All right, here we go. Acknowledge. Welcome to the fight. Yeah, enjoy that. Oh, 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 oh nicely done. Good to go. Christ, the Night Star might not even get to fight. Dun, 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 99%. This guy's missing his leg, though. Uh, let's go on this guy. Because, yeah. This guy's in a lot of trouble. Sorry. He's gone. He's a smudge. This guy took a headshot. Yeah, no worries. There's somebody else in there somewhere. Yeah, we did kill that guy. There's someone else back there. I don't know who it is, though. Oh. Get a shot in that guy. See if we can sweep the leg. Now, how much has it got left? Not a lot. I'm gonna fire one. Hopefully we get the leg. Let's see. Engaging target. Yep, there we go. Enemy destroyed. What do they got back there though? Those guys just have no idea what hit them. Um, I don't see anything here. Aye, aye. Man, we really needed the locust here. All right, full speed. Oh, this better not be a screw up. Uh, I really hope they didn't uh Commander? Well we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Double time. Hope this isn't a mess up. I'm gonna move this guy, start moving him towards the out point. We don't need him for this. And if for whatever reason this is a screw up and there's no other mech here. Where's our out point? Way over here. Okay. If there's yeah, if there's uh no other mech back here or vehicle, then at least he's on his way out. Standing by. Um Okay, you go that way. I'm your spaniel. Nothing. Like, what am I missing here? I'm here. Position confirmed. Waiting for orders. 
All right, you start sprinting out too, because you're going to take longer than everybody else. Arc light and witness can take, or uh, GB can take care of that problem. So it says enemy turn. So there is an enemy somewhere. I'm here. I wonder if he tried to run. I'm right, not spotting anything. Or maybe it just failed to drop. Okay. Watch it be something ridiculous like a stealth bomber. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Okay, you know what, guys? I will continue to search for this backer vehicle or whatever. If I don't see it in the next couple of turns, I'm just going to head to the extraction point. If I do see it, I'll come back in and show you the combat, but... I have a feeling it got bugged and didn't drop or something, but I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, guys. Well, we did look around. I mean, I searched all back here. I even searched over here, top corner, through the forest and everything. Nothing. I don't know what the heck happened to the enemy. Now, the turn, it keeps giving an enemy a turn, and it's like almost like he just instantly reserves or something, but we're going out here. We're heading out. Good thing we can complete the mission. I didn't want to lose any salvage. Nice. Alright, let's see what we get here. 338,000. Not bad at all. Okay, XP, I guess. Wow, a lot of kills for the uh, for witness there. Um, Alright, now we don't really have parts of any of these things up here. So let's see what we got gear-wise. Fire Fist would be nice. We gotta start building a uh, some stuff for a melee mech. Okay, we got LRM ten. You know what? I'm thinking about dropping the LRM fifteen, which is seven tons, and maybe go with two two LRM tens. Let's drop that there for now, because that's a possibility. Now we could put a LRM five clan in the CT of the Jenner, which will free up one ton. There's another medium X pulse. That would be really nice for the uh, the locust. Now, Ultra 5, that's a possibility. Case 2 clan, which we can use. That's another big possibility. Fire control system, standard clan. Guardian ECM clan, which is really, really nice, plus one defense. Pirate fire control system again. Prototype double heat sinks. Wow. I'm almost thinking about taking those. Although we don't really have a need for them right now. Artemis ammo for the... We could use that for the um, trebuchet. Ultra Auto Cannon 5 ammo. How much does the Ultra 5 weigh anyway? I mean, we could go with an Ultra 5. Well, I don't know what we would put it on, though. It's 7 tons, right? Yeah. We don't really have a place to put it. Although, we could go this route. Take two Case 2 clans. Maybe we should just go... with these. I mean, well, yeah, because later in game it was harder to find these, but do we need them right now, though? What would I use? I'd use this for sure. I know I can hear people rolling their eyes. Piloting and tactics, that's not bad. 
Um, SRM4 clan. How much does that weigh? One ton? Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. This will save some weight on the... Uh, oh, no. This will be an instant upgrade on the on the Talos because it'll or on the um, do we put the, what do we put this on wasn't on the Talos I don't think I think it was on the trebuchet oh man such a hard decision Do we want to try and upgrade the um, the Jenner? Indecisive. Well, this gives us gunnery one too. Let's take that. All right, let's start with this. I think we got a few okay upgrades here. Okay, Arctic Cheater and Falcon part, LB5X. I think we've got ammo for this. Not 100% sure. Not that we're going to put it on anything right now, but it's a possibility. Medium laser, eh, SRM4 clan, a couple of cores. We've got the SLDF cockpit, which is good. We can put on something, a backup Artemis system if we need it for something. Fire control system, SLDF. That's kind of nice. We can put that on something maybe. And we got the pirate fire control system too. Okay, so I think we did pretty well there. Okay, no damage at all, pretty much. Beautiful. All right, so I am going to make some upgrades to the mechs between episodes. Uh, and when we come back, there's a ton of stuff here that we can do, I think. Um, I know some of these are two skulls, but, you know, it's a destroy base against Comstar. I think we'll be okay on some of these. We just have to be very careful. Ambush a convoy. Uh, com yeah, Comstar convoy. I mean, we could probably do some of these. So I'm going to keep an eye out. Um for stuff that we're definitely going to be able to pull off. Like this destroy base we should be able to do, no problem. Hide the evidence. It's a destroy base. 521 is really, really nice. This is against uh, Clan Barak. So uh, we might be able to pick up some good stuff here. All right. So I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.